Where is the chain? We don't have a timing chain. It's gone, disappeared. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now I think this is gonna be a very interesting video. Why? Because I declared this engine dead a couple of months ago. And by dead, I mean gone. When I received this uh, car with this engine, I could not turn the engine around with the long bar. And when I open the oil filter, have a look what I found. Do you see that? All particles, particles even here, shiny, shiny, shiny stuff. So it's a no-brainer. You have a blocked crankshaft with this much particles. It's a bottom end failure. So this engine was uh, thrown out. It was sitting over there in the corner of my garage. And now I have decided I have to clean up this place and I want it to throw it away. But first I wanted to remove the cylinder head, the camshafts, the fuel pump, intake, you know, some stuff I can use later and it was not affected by the bottom end failure. But imagine my surprise when I removed the, the rocker cover, valve cover, and the timing chain was gone. So we don't have a timing chain, obviously it's some, somewhere down, down there, snapped, and that is what's causing the, the trouble uh, turning the engine over. I think it somehow is blocking the, the, the whole stuff, and this means there is hope. Probably we don't have a bottom end failure. Uh, we have, but not a catastrophic one that we cannot fix. Probably the crankshaft is not affected, the block is good, we're gonna just do a rebuild, new bearings, new bolts, everything and we have a good engine so let's dive in i turn the camera on because this is going to be an interesting one i'm going to remove the flywheel remove the uh timing cover with 100 we have a timing chain failure no doubt about that because otherwise chain are not flying out of engines so we don't have a chain it needs to be somewhere here and then i'm gonna undo the oil pan Remove the oil pump and investigate the, the main caps and the conroad caps. And probably we're gonna save this engine. And I already declared it dead. And I said with my own mouth, go back and watch the video, shame that this engine is not gonna see an engine bay ever. And who knows, who knows, probably after a rebuild, this engine will serve just well. It's a 1.6 N47, not the 2.0, but still N47, and uh, yeah so let's dive in i wasn't planning recording this video i just uh you know realized this this could be an interesting one i'm gonna quickly remove the flywheel and then show time unbelievable oh my world this is the worst timing chain failure i ever seen in my life oh and the matter particles it's not a bottom end failure, it's a timing cover failure. Have a look, it's full, 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 full and filled with, with the stuff I found in the, the oil filter. It's the same stuff, but this engine was still spinning, rotating with the... Wow, what the... Do you see no two uh, exact same timing chain failures? This is something... I've never seen. It's, it's completely different from the, the rest. Look. Oh. What is going on here? So we don't have a bottom end failure, but we have a timing cover failure. <laughs> the matter particle. Yes, we can save this. Just have a look. What is going on here? Look, that one is grinded we don't have the sprayer nozzle sprayer nozzle a chunk of the timing cover from there is in there bedded have a look no wonder i could not turn the engine over because this one is blocking so what failed here first it was a tensioner because it's definitely not the the middle chain ah yeah what is going on? So we don't have a bottom end failure. I was wrong, but I was right. This engine can be saved. 
but uh, the bottom end is fine. The particles are not coming from the cone road bearings or the main bearings. I will check them, of course. I'm not going to just put everything back, you know, leave it to the unknown. But first, we have to address the timing chain issue and then go and check the bottom end. It's crazy, it's crazy. Have a look. I still cannot believe this. Have a look. I told you it's going to be an interesting one. I wasn't expecting this. I thought it is just a snap timing chain and it's holding the crankshaft as it is doing now. I didn't thought the so thought bearing particles are coming from the timing cover. So what do we know? We know that we have a timing chain failure. The oil pump is full with metal, part metal particles, probably it's ruined. I'm going to open it up later and check it if it's scratched. We need an oil pump. We need the timing chain kit, of course. Now I am going to remove the, the top. And let's see what damage do we have uh, here. And uh, let's, let's go from there. But we have a half engine rebuild project in our hands. Trust me. Well, this one is not good. It is quite difficult to, to turn it around. I would not risk reusing it. So we need a cage and some shafts. But have a look. We have broken uh, rocker arms, which is always good because we might not have to remove the cylinder head. We're going to pull a trick again and assume that all the valves are good measure a compression if it checks out good if not then i'm gonna remove the cylinder head but at the moment all the valves are up unfortunately with the naked eye you cannot predict that we have to measure compression but i am not going to remove the cylinder head and uh, all that stuff i will just have i will just clean all the mess and uh, yeah, show time. What the hell? Let's try to remove this mess and uh, <clears throat> figure out what's going on here because this is very, very interesting. Obviously, I have to clean everything, so it's a mess at the moment. Uh, wow. Have a look. Proper timing chain failure. Oh, look. Rocket is damaged. The sad part is <clears throat> that this engine was still spinning and was rotating. Have a look. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, this one survived. Thank God nothing is broken, so we can clean this stuff. Uh, timing chain pieces all over the place, of course. Even the oil nozzle is broken, so the oil pressure was lost. Not by much, but... I think I'm going to replace the fuel pump as well. this out this didn't happen in <clears throat> like three seconds the chain was uh, rubbing against this in a bad way and check out the results so it's a very very nasty time chain failure for sure very very nasty let's quickly go through all the main caps because this is the important stuff if the crankshaft and the main caps are good then we have Hope. Oh my. 
have a look. Worn out bearings, but not too bad. Huh. Number two, same thing. I'm not saying the best bearings, but nothing crazy. We can sort this out. The middle one, again, usual wear. Happy. Let's check out the other one. Wow, not bad at all. Bearings are a bit worn out, but we don't have fun bearing. Thank God I didn't throw this engine away. The last one on the flywheel wheel side is the, the worst, obviously, as you can see, uh, but not bad. Not bad at all. Thank God the crankshaft is in very good condition. We don't have troubles on that side. Say something now. Who, who said that mechanics is boring and uh, it's not fun? Well, in the last 5-10 minutes, I was all over the place, like diagnostic-wise, what's causing what, unbelievable results. I genuinely thought when I saw the timing chain is, is gone, it snapped, that uh, just in time, we prevented a bottom end failure. It's already started, the bearings are worn out, and just in time the chain failed, the engine stopped, was taken off the road, and uh, yeah, we can sort that out. But no, the particles are coming from the timing chain cover, aluminum stuff. So this engine was still spinning, rotated with a broken guide or, or tensioner maybe and it was rubbing against all this this stuff causing this i will keep this hang it somewhere on the wall because this is the most interesting timing chain failure i i've seen so far but it's good the bottom end is not damaged the crankshaft doesn't need to be taken to be polished and and all that stuff i will put uh, new bolts probably bearings and we are sorted at the bottom end. Uh, we have to put a new timing chain. That's easy, no, no problem on that side. The top remains a question, the, the head, the cylinder head. I'm gonna do the same as I did with the X1. It was a bit uh, controversial. A few people disagreed with me, but I don't care because I was right. The compression values uh, proved me right. I didn't remove the cylinder head, I only replaced the broken uh, lifters, the rocker arms, put new camshafts, and the car was running and still running till present I'm using that car. So I'm gonna do the same here, I'm not gonna remove the cylinder head. If you don't have good compression with the engine on the, in the car already installed, it's not a big deal, trust me, to remove it, uh, fix the valves, put it back, but if it's not the case, then why? So, conclusion and timing chain. Timing chain failures are real. They are happening regularly because neglected uh, engines, oil change intervals. And uh, have a look. I almost throw this engine away because I was convinced it's a bottom end failure. It's seized. I could not turn it round, but it's no wonder how compact was everything there and it was stiff and the particles you see two symptoms fitted the bottom end failure and the seized engine a seized engine and a lot of particles and it was only caused by the timing chain cover aluminium so very 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 good lesson from here i'm going to investigate in the future even further before i'm throwing out an engine. So I think that's it for, for this video. It's a short one, good experience. Uh, I have another engine rebuilt in, in, in progress. As it appears, I have to order some original bolts, the timing chain kit, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good engine. 1.6, not the two liter diesel, but uh, 
I'm happy. I'm happy because another challenge and I don't have to throw away uh, an engine block. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. God bless you all.